Who wants to drive the boat? You drive it? I suppose. Oh. I don't want no big ass sip like this. That was that <laughs> it. It took me forever to pour. <laughs> that was good, man. We took the last walk to the store. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. Five shots. My bad. Let me get you a napkin. We all ain't got no jobs. We all employed. How y'all feel about that? She's still singing it. Well, you get used to doing something every day. Like out of nowhere, it's just like, what? No job. No job. No, no notice. What? So, I did. People who watch him, we got, I got fired, what, a month ago? Haven't now, been a month already? Yeah, it's, it's, it's been about a month. And now everybody fired. Now everybody ain't got no job, yeah. including the bitch that fired me. <laughs> everybody. <laughs> Why did the restaurant close? Will we ever get answers? I guess not. Um, according to him, it was because of health issues, mental health issues. He reached out to that community um, to back him up on that. But he also said he ain't got nothing to do with all the financial issues and people he owe. Apparently coming, dating back to what, this past summer? My thing is, if you claim you depressed, why are you still going about your regular business like all on Instagram, social media going live like nothing ever happened? And you know people trying to reach out to you. Blocking people, deleting right. posts. You know he um, blocked me on Facebook. Really? Deleting yes. comments. It's just, it's over, it's shady. All of it's shady. It's right. been shady. And you leaving petty little comments. People lose their jobs every day. Businesses close every day. That's what he said. Uh -huh. mm. <laughs> <laughs> she said I got a receipt. Yes. Like he don't even. That's like he don't even care. But. A grade A narcissist. He doesn't. He has no compassion for the three restaurants worth of people that are suddenly without work. Like it's not the fact that we can just all oh, suck it up and go get another job. That's not a problem because you had talented people there keeping your business afloat while you're not there. People got kids and Fa whole families, car notes and rent. responsibilities, Be right? And to just when, especially when you knew. You had to have known. There's no way you couldn't have known that this was an eventuality. Going down, apparently, this is like, with everything that's coming out, this shit's been going on for 10 years now. 10 years? Yeah, starting with- Is this how he's a millionaire? ass businesses with, what's her name, Sunny? Sunny Anderson? Mm -hmm. Who that? From Food Network. So they were scamming together. No, he scammed no, her. Right. Oh. Did she speak on it? I think she's supposed to. It's gonna work something. People wondering if she's going to. Mm. Like, Food Network's pulling all the episodes with him on it. Really? Mm -hmm. It's that deep. Dang. That's crazy. That's a lot of money they said. But I mean, I personally don't, well, when I got fired, it was kind of fucked up because they, he, he wasn't even responding to what I was saying to him. He read it, but he didn't respond. And um, Fiona, she blocked me from the crew app and stuff like that. So I wasn't even able to write um, her or anybody else. So I had to like make my own 
crew account and add him to it and wrote him but he read it it said he read it but he didn't say nothing back and um I didn't know that him and Fiona were cousins. <laughs> because I have so it many people me. say. You ain't know that either? No. Fiona. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I don't Fiona know. Fiona and Shrek. Yeah. I'm trying to keep it cute and not say nobody's names. I'm and sorry. I don't need to be in the legalities. So. But. If you know, you know. Right. Yeah. They know. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Right. Y'all know the vibes. But, yeah. I, they, but when I found out that they were cousins, it made sense. I'm like, of course you're going to have her back over anybody else's. Even if she's doing wrong. And that's why she got that job. Because she don't have no experience in that industry. And he's not going to find nobody that he can pay that little amount of money to that's going to do that right. job. I did. Because she wasn't making nothing. She wasn't making nothing. If the number I heard was correct, she was making maybe $33,000 30, a year. The average for a general manager for one store is about, I want to say like started at 50 and capped at like 85. And she was doing what, two, two and a half stores? She was doing greens and, well supposedly doing greens and gravy and all three stores. All, well, all three of the restaurants are shut down, and everybody is okay. out of jobs abruptly. Sunday. People just woke up one morning, getting ready for work. Probably was already on their way there, and got a message saying that all the of them was going to be closed. Was after the shift actually? Cause somebody else sent me a screenshot of the thing, and it was saying something like 8 a.m. or it, I got the message, a screenshot early in the morning. I'm like. Oh, mm -hmm. I didn't know what was going on there. Everybody was calling me like, "You see that uh, restaurants is shut down?" And I'm like, "It's news to me." But I'm like, "That was crazy." But I'm, I will say, you know, what you put into the universe comes back. Yep. So, um, you know, so hey, I hate to wish. I wouldn't wish sickness or any mental problems on anybody. I don't know if that's you know, legit, or if it's just a way out, but I think that I hope that he gets the proper care that he needs so he can take care of himself, but karma's a bitch. I was just, I just want the truth, like, what all is going on? There's so much just being, that's coming out. And you're so, nowhere to be found. Nowhere to be found. Not answering anybody, blocking people being completely unresponsive like yeah we're not entitled to your personal business but it's not just about you and it's not just about what you've got going you've on you've got kids to feed i don't give honestly not to be insensitive i have no compassion for him at this point <laughs> i don't give a fuck what you have going on this isn't how you do people who have been running your establishments i'm just saying you're right People are looking for employment. That shit was convenient as hell. It we was. We just talking about that. That shit right there. I moved on this side of town because I was working there. <clears throat> but I like where I stay at though. It's convenient still too. Cause it's only like 20 minutes to get downtown. Mm -hmm. But it, it was convenient. And I enjoy working there for the most part. I Honestly. mean, it was a lot of, you know, you had to be built for it because it's with any restaurant, I feel like, but, you know, they have their special brand. Everybody could name. Shit, if you hold it right. People was, they turnover rate. Right, they turnover rate is, was very high. Crazy. And people then, walking out in the middle of the shift. <coughs> and then you fire the people who, you know, are invested into this job that been here for so long and doing, you know, the holding restaurant up. But I don't know. I was like, damn, that's crazy when I heard that, not even a month later after I got fired. And I'm like, shit, I would have had, either way, I would have been out of a job. But y'all can still get unemployment, though, can't y'all? Mm -hmm. Y'all apply? Not yet. Yeah. That's what y'all need to be doing. Honestly. Because getting another job isn't 
the issue. And for people who don't know how unemployment works, you don't get it the same day you apply. Motherfuckers, that's another story. But mental I illness. Right. But mental illness is real because these, some of these people is crazy. And yeah. that's another story. So if you are, do have mental illness, go take care of yourself. Go get the proper medication. Don't be acting a goddamn fool. People are crazy. Some people are evil. Very. But it's okay. Selfish. It's okay. And people think that they know everything and people will... When they are, when they mind think one way, it's sometimes there's no way of changing that, whether it's the truth or not. Whatever that person think, that's just what they think, and they go with it, and don't even be knowing what the fuck be going on. You know, I'll let you, you ladies, say your final piece to the public. Hmm. To I got something to say. If you can't go to Soul Crab. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. If you can't go to Soul Crab Atlanta, where the hell can you go? Where the hell can you go? It's upsetting me and my homegirl. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm weak. What, the, what else did she say? <laughs> That's been real. It has. Thank you for the opportunity. I'm going to use Right, this I said it was an experience. Like, right. Yeah, that's what I probably should say. If you didn't get to experience this, then you missed out. Yeah. Food was great. Drinks were... Drinks were better. <laughs> My customer service was amazing. I'm just kidding. Yeah, there were really some awesome people. Yeah. But I will say that I met a lot of cool ass people working there. And I didn't have... Right. And, you know, I moved down here. I didn't have any family, so... So, I don't have no family here, so Soul Crab, you know, kind of made me feel like I had some family. Right. And... It just got shut down. Like, alright. Kill the switch. Yeah, but it's all good. You know, I still will be in contact with the people who are important to me from that job that I met. Almost definitely. But... <clears throat> Those days are over, so we gotta close that chapter of the book. Right, on to the next thing. And move on. It's not really, it's already all over the news. It is all over the news. I didn't expect for it to go that far. Me neither. I thought right. it was just gonna be shut down and that was just gonna be it, but that shit is on the fucking news. Like, it's a whole story. Yeah, people sending me And it's me getting stuff. dragged. Like, it is. It's, it's, how, how long y'all been closed? A week now? Mm hmm. And it's still going on. Like I get notifications every day about what's going on, and I'd be like, "Damn, you'd be calling me," and that's crazy. I'm like, "Should I call and give me an attorney?" And you know, I don't know what the fuck going on. Hmm. Shit, I might be able to get a piece of the pie. Right. <laughs> Shit, you said 145,000. Pain just, and suffering. Just right. Shit, I'm depressed. Right. Right. <laughs> but we not joke about my mental health. Right, because that's nothing to joke about. But shit. Right. I'm depressed too now. Hmm. We gonna be alright. If anything, we got more time to do other shit. Yep. Shade called a meeting and told us all about these job offers that she had lined up for us. If anything, out of all of this, Shade has been putting in the work to make sure we weren't just left high and dry. She real. According to her, she ain't know anything about. What happened either, but she had tons of jobs lined up for for people. People already put into another position. People reaching out to her on social media and letting her know about the positions they have open. And that's what's up. That that was really like she didn't have to. She's do that. a real. She real. Right. I respect her one thousand percent. Cause when my situation, when I said it was somebody that I cared about, that was real. That's what I was talking about. Mm -hmm. She, her and Veta, was oh, all the people I who kept Veta. it real. Me too. I love them. Out of management, the other one, you could toss that little piggy in a blanket and throw her away. But, yeah. Shade, right. Shade and Veta were like the backbone. Yeah. For that establishment. Without them, it would have been chaos. Shit show. I just feel like I'm on here looking stupid. You? Yes. I feel like I look stupid. <laughs>
We go look stupid together. As a crew. Happy yeah. Valentine's Day. Right. Mm. Happy Valentine's Day. Make them clap. <laughs> 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 Sorry, Grandma. I know. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Not Grandma. She wasn't ready for it. And Grandma know what titties look like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But she always she got a titties. She got a set of her own. Yeah. What would you like to say to the public? What's going on? Well, I just want to give a shout out to everybody back home, you know. You know, all here. <laughs> just, just trying to do it, you know. Trying to make it big. There you have it. Here alive at Ronnie Studios.